What's good, my little Kimmy? Welcome back to another lovely, beautiful, sexy, amazing video with the equally lovely, equally beautiful, equally sexy, and equally amazing lit tie. You already know what time it is. Now, let's go. Now, it seems like it's all kicking off a little bit because obviously, if you watched my previous video, I made a video talking about how. Ivorian doll was sending shots for um Miss Our Fabulous for uh, Abigail Ting um for Lady Lashaw for everyone she was just gunning for everyone as I said in a video 50 cent in his prime and now it seems like Miss Our Fabulous or Renee has responded in under 24 hours <laughs> I don't know how she responded faster than Stormzy but we'll leave that conversation for another day but She's responded. She released her own diss track. It's called Homer and Fuck, which is... <laughs> it's a bit rude, I can't lie. That's a bit, it's a bit disrespectful. I won't lie, I won't lie to you. A, that's a bit of a rude name. But yeah, it looks like... <laughs> I said I wanted a UK rap beef, and it seems like the universe is, is giving us this. We wanted Chip and Stormzy, but instead we are getting... IVD and Renee. So I don't know if you lot think that's better or worse. I wanted the chip and Stormzy, but I make do with what I get, and this is what we're given. So I'm gonna break down obviously everything that she said in this this little diss track. It's only like two minutes. In fact, it's one minute forty eight seconds. So not particularly long, but yeah. Without further ado, I'm gonna get straight into it. Obviously, she starts off the track. And she's like mimicking or sorry, she's playing a little snippet of I think this was from like a year ago where I've I've Orion Doll was talking about how people always try and drag her in situations and she doesn't start beef with anyone and how she's innocent and whatever, whatever. And obviously that statement contradicts what we've seen now, where allegedly she started off this beef on the Daily Duppy unprovoked. I don't know, because as I said, I don't keep up with what they do, but to me, it seemed like it was unprovoked. You let me know in the comments section if it was provoked or unprovoked because I don't know where they they might be sneak dissing each other in YouTube channels or whatever. I don't know. But yeah, so she used that snippet to basically contradict herself. And obviously, Renee was mimicking that at the start as well, saying something like, Ah, I don't talk about people, <laughs> you idiot. <laughs> That was a that was a say Renee impression. I think I got that kind of that was, was kind of good. I was like, that was kind of say. Let me know in the comments if that was say. So she said, "I swear to man, the pastor. Oh wait, your dad's a pastor. He he, ha ha." Now I'm I'm gonna be honest. That's kind of weak. That was a kind of a weak bar. I'm not gonna lie. That was kind of weak. But she's basically saying that IVD's out here doing this and that when her dad's a pastor. So she's expecting her to be some kind of like church girl or like some holy holier than thou type of female she's out here calling people out doing all things that people would consider unholy so she's basically calling her out on that and she said i heard a rumor that ivd's a fuck and then she said you f the whole block i heard that head did a hum and bop and she kind of she saved the previous line with that line that line she basically calling ivd out by her name saying that she's a slut saying she gets passed around the whole hood saying that you know everyone's tattooed their name in that in that coochie and the the head doing a hum and bop as a reference to the obviously the hum and b song which is the whole song is a reference to and a reference to basically her just giving head to the whole of 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 hum and so you know Bit crazy, bit crazy. And then she said, Unknown Chop, V9 Chop, Jimmy Chop, KO Chop. Now, I don't know who those people are. I think, I think, if I remember correctly, and correct me if I'm wrong, I remember when they first started beefing, she said that IVD got piped out by Rams and Unknown T. So I'm thinking that Unknown is a reference to Unknown T and V9, that might be V9 the rapper. So I'm guessing she got down, she got piped down by both of those two. I, or at least that's what Renee is alluding to in this song. And I don't know who the other two people are. I'm going to assume they're, they're rappers as well. Or at least they're, you know, people who are quite well known in, in, in Homerton. Or, or maybe just in London in general. I don't know where V9's from. Maybe he's from Homerton. But I know Unknown T's definitely from Homerton because of the song Homerton Beat. So 
I that's who she's alluding to there. And she said, talk about tours, you already detoured. That was kind of that was kind of hard. I'll give her that. She, that that was kind of a hard little cool little bar. And then before that, she's talking about you know snatching people's wigs and doing all this and that, doing all the violence. And you know we're not we're not violent around here, so I don't really support the violent talk. But as I said before, if that's the way they feel like they're gonna sort out their issues, if they just just throw the ones, just throw hands. Throw meet in a in a in a private place and throw hands. And when you feel like that person has has reached their limit, you're like, cool, all right, cool. I've I've done what I came to do. I'm not trying to kill you. I'm not trying to hurt you. I just had to show you not to not to test my gangster. And that's it. And then at the end, this is where the killers came in. This is when these are the parts that are probably going to be trending on Twitter. So at the end, she's like, she she puts again the, the snippet of IVD, you know, talking about how she doesn't cause trouble and people always coming for her. The contradictory snippet of her talking. And then she says that, she says you thought you were sticking with her. <laughs> I don't even know why that's funny, but <laughs> I just don't know why she would bring that up. But, you know, I, I guess she's trying to... <laughs> she was basically trying to say like you're not yeah trying to act like you're some big time rapper like your cardi or nikki and you ain't you ain't nothing like them you're not on their level you know I, i'm assuming that's what she's trying to go with that statement but i just found that a bit funny I, it just threw me off a little bit especially when she said the f and b at the end of so i can't say the real words because youtube i'm trying to be a friendly channel but you know you can you can use your imagination of what derogatory words begin with f and B and probably sound better when they're both combined together. And I'm not talking about fish and bread. And then she ends it by saying, you think I'm, I don't know where your mum lives? And then puts on top of it, hello, auntie. Now, <laughs> yo, that kind of, re that reminded me of, of Chip when he was dissing um, Youngin and he put the, and he dissed Tiny Temper and he was like, um, Patrick. <laughs> it reminded me of that I think that's what she was going for with that But you know Obviously I don't want to see anyone's mum get hurt And I don't want to see anyone's mum Getting involved in the situation So maybe we should just chill off Off of mums Maybe we should just leave Parents Or parents houses Out of the situation I think I think It's just a situation between you two Now she's brought the mum in it now it could go to a place where we might not want it to go. I mean, obviously, people would want to see it go there for entertainment purposes, but I just don't want to see it get out of hand. In it. If it just stays on the music, then that's cool. But obviously, I don't know. It's just crazy. <laughs> but um, yeah, that's the that that is the end of the diss track. And if I'm honest, I probably if we're going round for round, I'm going to have to give this round to IVD. I think that Daily Duppy was a lot better than the diss track that Renee put out. Obviously, maybe Renee was just testing the waters to see if IVD really wants to go bar for bar. I don't know if this is going to turn into a back and forth, back and forth thing. I don't know. But yeah, it just, you know, it's crazy. I, w I wanted Chip and Stormzy and we're getting IVD and Renee. So, you know, weigh up whatever way you want to weigh up. We got We're getting a UK, quote unquote, UK rap beef. So do with that as you will. But let me know what you think about that. Let me know who you think had the better diss track. Let me up on my Instagram. It's going to be right there. My Twitter's going to be right there. And yeah, just shoot me any questions, any ideas for videos, and we'll just get on and popping. Stay black. And if you're not black, stay whatever race you are. I bet. Peace. Well, you ain't know I can sing.